Marking objects and materials as an asset is very easy. You just right click it and just say mark asset. But for geometry nodes, you need to go to your outliner window, change the display mode to blender file, find the node groups drop down and mark it as an asset from there. Now, if that's all you want to know, then good. You don't have to watch any more of this video. But if you don't really know how asset browsers or asset files work in Blender, or you just need a refresher, I'll tell you how to do that as well. Now you need to create a separate Blender file that'll act as your asset library. I would make an asset libraries folder in your uh, file explorer just to keep everything organized. Also, when you make your folder, I would just copy the file path up at the top so you don't have to navigate back to it every time. Now open Blender, click Save As, paste the file path of your asset folder or locate it in the finder and name the file. Now in Edit Preferences File Paths, you can add that folder and uh, save your file. You've made it. You've made an asset library. Now, whenever you want to save a geometry node modifier in the future, go find your asset library in the File Explorer. Or if you don't want to bother looking for it, just copy the file path in the Preferences window and paste it in the File Explorer. Then copy the object with that geometry node thing you want to save. Paste it in your asset library. Mark the node group as an asset. And now you can just delete the object. You don't need it anymore. Now, in your asset file, you can open the Asset Browser window. Make sure your library is set to current file, and then you can press the little plus button and make, make categories. They're called catalogs. You make catalogs, you name them, and when you mark an asset, you want to go to your unassigned. This little unassigned button here, it shows everything that isn't assigned to a catalog, and you drag and drop it into the catalog you want it to be in, and if any of your catalogs have a star next to it, uh, you want to press the Save Catalog Asset button. So it's saved. Now when you're in any Blender file, you can open up your asset library and drag and drop the node group onto an object and it'll give it that uh, modifier, that geometry node modifier. Or when you're in the geometry nodes window, you can press shift A and it'll be in a little drop down menu uh, down here, all of your little assets. I should also mention I have all my categories um, dropped into one catalog that I've titled as uh, my nodes. So that way they're all in just one drop down menu when you open the asset browser and it makes it nice and organized. And that is how you make your Geometry Node Asset Library. I hope you liked it.